<laughs> hey people, Broken Puppet, and this is how to draw a food dog face, or a guardian lion. Enjoy. Alright people, how to draw a food dog, or a guardian lion, or whatever you want to call it. it seems to go by many, many names. So it's going to be just mainly the head. I've done the body one before, so it's teaching the head close up. Get yourself a nice circle. So a small circle. Medium sized circle. Small oval, just there. Bring a line across. Bring a curve coming through. Curve them down like so. Circle up here. Little curve just there. So it's basically going to be ears. Hair to back, beard here. It's going to be a cheek, chin, cheek, face. So to start with, to get everything sort of centered, I'm going to start off with. Uh, I think I'll start with the nose. I'm going to build everything off of that. It's always a good start, starting point, the nose. So where these line, two lines meet? Got a nice curve coming up. Curve that down to a point. Go about a bit wider, this side shorter, this side wider. And a bit bigger on the nostril as well. Connecting from the bottom of this nostril. Curve that around. Curve up, we're going to come to a point. Curve it in. Curve it out. I'm going to loop it down. So if you bring up a little line from the centre, that line's going to come, and come in between this little loop we're doing here. So similar on this side now. Connecting from the end of that nostril, curve up, I'm going to come out, to get to a point, I'm going to curve back, around. So we're doing this, we're basically just making like a little feature of the nose. And this is going to be our base for everything else. So we've got a little arch there, and we're going to have a couple of curves just coming above it. Now come to the side here. I'm going to create this circular shape. I'm going to take this out this way. So start circle and sort of come a bit more straight as you come to the side. It's a little bit similar on this side. Start circular. I'm going to come out and cross. Keeping on mind this sort of center line we've done here, so you can kind of keep this space about the same. Curve them out. Now where we curve these. I'm just going to create a loop on top and join them. Little curve just around the top. Some little detail lines in the center. Now, come to the side here, I'm just going to create a little curve, just flick it out. So, kind of come out to a point, curve back and outwards. Create a little circle there, and that's going to sort of create the eye shape just there. This eye a bit more sort of difficult because it's not really sitting behind anything, so you've got a bit more work to do. So bring this circle shape in here and just keep sketching it in until you feel like it's about the right sort of similar size. You know, so if you imagine if this carried on through here, it would have been about here. So that's the sort of length you want. So it comes a bit further than this. Start at a little point, curve that out, bring it to the edge, get that line around the outside. You can have a little bit kind of overlapping if you want, which I probably will do. Just there, I'll have a little line coming across, cutting down. Just, and what it pretty much does is just kind of shapes the face a little bit. Underneath this nose, so if you imagine that sort of carried down a bit, starting from here, I'm going to create this little lap. So this is going to, or the top lip rather. So this is going to curve out, come to a little point, curve back. And I had this kind of curving up to the nostrils, on the side bit, just there. This one's going to kind of curve out this way. I'm going to get to a point here. I'm just going to loop this one across. So I'm going to stop, loop it out. This will go back to the side of the mouth. So that's going to curve out and curve around like so. Now come off the side bit of this mouth now, just here. I'm going to get a curve. I'm going to create a first spiral. So come out. Then just start spiraling around a couple of times. And 
and get a spiral. It's going to kind of fit here. This one's going to come, come off this corner bit, just there. And that's going to create that top sort of lip section. Top of these eyes. Now where these two bits come out, we're going to create spirals on each side again. So spiralize it. Create some little curves coming down. Spiralize it. Create some little curves coming down. So a bit there. And the top here is going to create an ear. This ear is going to follow that sort of curve there. So I'm going to curve it off, flick it out, and literally just bring little lines coming back to sort of show the shape of it. Top of this head, I'm going to bump back just here. Make it a little bit jaggedy just here, and bump it back out again. That second ear, similar to the other one, I'm going to curve across, flick it out. Have a lines across like so. After back it, do one spiral, two spiral, three spiral, four spiral, five. I have a couple little mini ones just around the edge of the back, just there. That's just going to create a back of the hair. With this mouth bit comes back, pretty much like a dragon. I'm going to have a tooth coming out of it, but it's going to be a bit shorter than a dragon's. So a bit more chubby and a bit more shorter. Just kind of sit in there. I'm going to create a little archway there, and this is going to be. Well, a little curves here, but you're not going to see this, guys. So it's going to do the same kind of little line effect. Just coming off of here. So, if you imagine here, repeated lines curving on that curve shape we just done. Here, same thing again. Just curving there, making there. So, I'm making two sort of set of spirals just coming off. Now, where you got the circle? That's what the jaw is going to be. So I'm going to create a curve like this and curve in each side. So curve, curve each side. So imagine that's where like your canine is going to be, your front teeth. I'm just going to create lips. I'm going to curve, create two curves just around these corners to begin with. Create a little circle a bit here. And that's what the chin is going to be. But so either side of it, I don't want to add spirals. Now this side you're not going to see too much of a spiral because it's at the other angle. This side you kind of will, so I'm going to come down here, spiralize that. That one, two, maybe a little couple of ones at the back just there. <coughs> now we've got this mouth kind of comes here, I'm going to cut this up, come to a point, bend it back, start again, back towards that tooth. I'm going to have a tooth there, tooth here. Canine just there, canine just there, and then just little circles for the teeth in the middle. Just joining them up. Now that's the basic structure for the face. So what I'm going to do now, I just put this all in pen and then refine it with little details. Now I'm not going to do everything in this thick bowl pen, but I'm, going to, I'm probably going to do most of it. Now each time I do a spiral, I'm just going to do the main spiral shape. And I'm going to come in and refine it with a th fine line detail.
I think Fudo is one of the few exceptions where I like to give it an uneven number of front teeth. Don't know why, it's just one of the silly things I like to do. I had a little bit uneven, I don't want it perfectly smooth. Bring a little bit of tongue here, just curve up, go down, curve it back, two little lines in the middle. Not going to see too much because this bit's going to kind of get blacked out just there. So I'm just going to rub that out and then just add in those little fine line detail bits. So bring a little curve just on the inside of that nose, but just there. Go just there. Goes around it just there. Start these spirals. Bring a little curve line just around the outside this eye part. Just like so. Curve shapes, just going down there. Okay, just around the top. Just the line there, just sort of show the yeah, difference in the lip. Just keep adding all the uh, spiral details in. On this side, you don't get to see much of it, it's just going to be the curve driver. Keep bringing all those curves. It takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it. It makes the world a difference.
putting these curve shapes just over and over. Take your time, I'm being a bit quick in this, so they're not going to be perfect when I do them. But take your time and it will be on yours. Two little ducks for the pupils. So we're showing the direction he's looking in. I can kind of just curve there. So now we've done that, I'm going to get me uh, winter note and brush markers. You guys see me use these quite a few times. But use whatever you need to. If you've got pencils, paints, use them. Just kind of translate what you see me using with these to your tools. So if you're using the pencils, just fade out when you see me fade out with these. What colour paints? It's very similar techniques. These are just brush markers, so I'm just adding in black here. Sort of black. Mainly certain corner areas. So this part of the mouth just here. Just looking at some black, not all the way across, because I want to shade it out. Generally, where it hits kind of corners, so up there, maybe we'll just up the side. A little bit of there. Maybe a little bit's coming through there. Ain't too much. That's going to get them dark grey. Just go over those edges, just blend them out. And we don't want those harsh dark lines, so. Going a little bit of dark grey now just to sort of show the shape of certain areas like top part of the ears just to kind of show the curve. Just at the bottom of the spirals. The reason I'm doing this with the grey and that's because I want it to stand separate from the black. I want it to get lost all in one big bunch. Looks good for some things but not everything. So just all from like one little corner bit so... Let me come around there. A little bit just kind of show off the curve of this cheek. All that black under the nostril, so I'm just going to put it in there just there. The little curve we've done just in the side of the nose, just and some grey in there. A little bit just to show the structure of this nose. And lastly, it's a bit around the eyebrows. Now I've done that, it's going to get me really light grey. Just blend those areas out, and I'm going to start adding some colour. And most of the magic will happen with colour here. You now I use the colour to determine a lot of the shapes. So unless you're just blending out anywhere it kind of feels a bit too strong or a bit harsh. Just get a bit smoother. So what I'm gonna do now. I mean you can do this pipe and pencil if you want. Actually, no, thanks. Uh, pencil marks will show you through. Now, with the three dogs, you often get different colour sort of circle markings. So, one dude just on the fur now, because I'm going to colour him in red. So, I'm just going to plot out a whole bunch of circles. Varying in size and placement. 
Just generally as I get closer to main details, like the eyes, I get a bit smaller. I'm not going to have it on the front part of the face, just there. So then I'm going to start putting in the reds. Now when I get to certain edges I'm going to slow down because it's going to kind of go golden yellow. And some little bits I might leave or highlight, like I might leave that bit just there. I might leave a little tiny bit just there. When it goes in the shadow, I won't leave the highlight. Food is going to be a whole bunch of different colours. They tend to be really colour of, you know, colourful. You know, if you can't decide, just look up some imagery of them. You know, see how they look. You know, look for more like Japanese paintings rather than the statues, because the statues obviously are just not that colourful. You know, and they vary in style a bit from like the way they're sort of drawn and painted. You can see I'm almost done with this red now, just bring this all around here. Where I've kind of left, it's kind of just going to go into orange tones and some other I think that'd do for the red for now. So I'm just going to blend out some of the edges into orange. It will sort of blend into like a yellow. So pretty much like the start of spirals, I want to sort of go into orange. And when you get to like these kind of furry bits. That's it for the orange. I'm just going to wipe this into yellow. Also on this paper, the yellow kind of goes like a nice kind of goldeny colour. If you like this paper, check back from time to time, so we'll be selling this on my Etsy page. The exact books I use. You know, I know some people have some sh got a bit of a hard time trying to find the brand. So, I think it might be easier if I just sell them. So if you're interested, just like pop out to me a site, you know. I'm going to have prints of all the uh, tutorials. So if you want like a hard copy of them, you can just buy one of the prints and have a look.
and seven off. I'm going to do blue. So it contrasts up with the uh, red. I would normally do it red or purple, but because the face is red, just want to look right. It's all blend into one big mush, which I do not want. A little bit here and there, so just a little space in between. Just there. Put that in the blue. I'm flicking a little blue just over some of that red now, which will make it go like a nice purple. Just to sort of show off certain other colours and shadows. So mainly it's sort of like this lip part just here. Just around there. Almost forgot. You can see the three dog face up really kind of building up now. Now these bits you can colour in if you want or you can leave them blank. No, it's really up to you on that one. I'm going to go for green eyes for this one. So I'm just going to apply in little circles at the side. Colour in the rest, just leaving a little gap just around the pupil and around the edge of the eyes. And it's going to come back with yellow. Let's put yellow around those outside bits and around the pupil. Give me like a fleshy kind of brown, not an overly strong one, just like this. Just put a little strip just in some of the teeth that will blend out with a lighter tone. So it's just basically just a light brown. You now, if you're using like water painting, just really water it down a brown colour. You know, if you're using pencil, just use that kind of sort of shade or just mix some colours to get to it. And now I'm going to add some whites. So it's just a Faber Castor pencil. Uh, Prism pencil works really well as well. They're really bold and strong. No, if you're using white paper and you ain't got like a white pencil, just leave some of these areas blank. So it's colouring a little white bit around the eye, a little bit of white just around the edge, bring it out, and just other little bits just to bring out sort of certain shapes, like just a bit around this eyebrow, just in the centre of this little tube a bit around the head. A little bit just in the ear. Just a little bit just come around that head shape. Just there. Just a little on the uh, nose. So just a little just around the edge. A little circle just here and there. A little bit just on those under eye bits, just there. And it goes a little bit just on those spirals now. Just pick a little section and just go harsh and then kind of blend out. It will just create like a nice little highlight shine. So you see here, just go a lot hard. Blend that around the edge. And just create a nice little shine. They were just on the lip. I mean, you can trick out for it all day with a white highlight if you want. You know, it's it's a really good tool, especially if you've got this kind of paper. And it also just really helps show you guys where like the highlight should be in a picture. You know, a lot of people kind of get a bit lost when it comes to highlights and don't really know where to put them. A little bit in the tooth. 
that curve around that jaw. Then that spiral, that spiral. Same sort of location on each one of these. how to draw a food dog's face. You, know, you can have background colours and stuff if you want. You know, it always looks cool to bring it out. You know, but as for the face, boom. That's how you do it. Hope you like it. Hope you'll check out my videos. Comment, subscribe, yada yada yada. You know, if you can share it with everyone, just let everyone else see it. The more people see it, the merrier for me. You know, I like to help as many people as I can, so the more people to see it, the more happy I am. But yeah, and a broken puppet. That is almost done, so I almost forgot the little black bit in the nose. And now it's done. There you go. That's how to draw a food dog face, or a guardian line, or whatever you want to call it. They go by many, many names. Enjoy, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.